The first law of thermodynamics can be stated in many different ways. Uh, you could say energy is conserved in the universe as one way to state the first law of thermodynamics. In that case, you must recognize what is the universe, and the universe is a system that's defined by you plus the surroundings, which is everything else. Another way to state the first law of thermodynamics is just to state the law of conservation of energy. Energy uh, cannot be created or destroyed. It can just be changed from one form to another. Finally, a precise way to express the first law of thermodynamics is through a formula. Delta U equals Q plus W. Delta U is change in internal energy of the system. Okay, Q is the symbol we use for heat, and W is the symbol we use for work. So basically, the internal energy of a system is all the energy a system has, all of the kinetic energy, all of the potential energy, all of the energy of the particles even of the system. That's the internal energy. It's a big idea and it's impossible to absolutely calculate. However, we can look at the change in the internal of energy of a system by looking at the amount of heat that is either transferred into or out of the system and the amount of work that's done by or on the system. Okay, so work can be done by or on and heat can be transferred into or out of and by these two methods of energy transfer we can then calculate the change in internal energy. So this is a very important little <coughs> formula that says a lot. It is the, the mathematical statement of the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, so it's a symbolic statement, delta U equals Q plus W, but we want to really conceptually understand what this means. So, in order to understand the change in internal energy, you have to be able to quantify Q, the heat flow, and state the sign of Q. You need to be able to quantify W, the work, and state the sign of work in order to correctly calculate delta U. And so when we say the state the sign of Q, the way we define the direction of the heat flow or the work done by or to is via the sign, the mathematical sign. So whenever energy is added to the system in the form of heat or work, we, we put a positive sign on that energy flow. Whenever energy is done by or given off from the system to the surroundings, of course, we give a negative sign associated with that. So there's a numerical calculation or measurement done to determine Q and W, and there's a sign that must be placed on it. And together, that information will give you the change in the internal energy of the system. So this can tell a detailed story, even though it's such a simple um, <clears throat> expression, it can tell a detailed energy story about your system. Let's take a look at an example here. Say you have some system that you've de defined and it absorbs 72 joules of heat while 35 joules of work is done to the system. Calculate the change in internal energy. Well, we recognize the change in internal energy is equal to the heat added to or taken from the system plus the work done on or by the system. So in this case, Q, the system absorbs heat. So Q here, the magnitude, uh, the numerical value is 72 joules. And so the system absorbs that heat. So that's heat being added to the system. So that's going to have a positive sign. So delta U is going to equal positive 72 joules plus W is uh, 35 joules of work is done on the system or to the system, so that's also a positive sign. So plus 35 joules of work. And so in this case, energy has been added to the system in two different forms, in the form of work and in the form of heat. And so the total amount of energy added to this 
or the change in internal energy in this case would be a positive 107 joules. And since this change, change, um, this delta U is a state function, and so it's talking about uh, the, the change in internal energy. If I could calculate it, but I can't, it'd be U final minus U initial equals 107. Since that's a positive change, then we can say the overall internal energy, internal energy of this system increased because the change was a positive change overall. Let's take a look at one more example. A system was heated by using 600 joules of heat, yet it was found that the internal energy decreased by 150 joules. Calculate W. In this case, we recognize that delta U is equal to Q plus W. In this case, we're calculating W. Q, a system was heated. Again, that's energy being added to the system, so that's a positive 600 joules um, was added to the system, plus W is what we're calculating, equals the change in internal energy, and this time it says the internal energy decreased. So that means that if it decreased, the change is going to be a negative 150 joules. Um, plus W, so we're solving for W. So in this case, I'm just going to keep going down this way. W equals um, negative 150 joules minus 600 joules equals a negative 750 joules. Okay? And so the final question is, was work done on the system or by the system in this particular change? And to answer this question, you need to remember the sign convention that when work is negative, or, or that means that work was done by the system. So in this case, work was done by the system, by the system. You should try some problems on your own now.